Hey folks, Chris Rich, AZ Fly Shop. You bet. Hey, I'm here at my cabin up in the White Mountains of Arizona. Just spent a day on the water on a real high country elevation creek chasing some wild Apache trouts. We spent about the first half of the day there. Then we went up, fished a lake from the shore. We were on the dam, hopping on rocks. Listen folks, I wore my brand new Sims Flyweight wading boot all day today. This is really designed to be a wading boot to cover water. Not a serious wading boot when you're when you're going to be kind of planted in water, you're in a bigger river and you're not out hiking, I might use a different boot. Um, they've also got the flyweight wading shoe. So this is a wet wading shoe. It's designed to be a wet wader. I have used this. I love it. It's the first day that I've worn the boot. The boot actually, it, it actually feels like it could be lighter. I don't know what the weight is. I do know the weight on the boot is one pound and five ounces. Very lightweight boot, extremely comfortable. I'm gonna go over the boot with you. I'm also gonna go over with you what I wore underneath the boot. So I was not in waders today. I would definitely wear this in waders if I had a place where I needed to have waders on. Most of what we do in Arizona is gonna be wet wading. It's not really called a wet wading boot. However, you could easily use it as a wet wading boot. I see myself using it as a wet wading boot. One of the biggest differences between the shoe, the wet wading shoe and the boot, is you've got the ankle support. I broke my ankle about five months ago. This was unbelievable support for my ankle. Unbelievable comfort for the bottom of my foot, for my whole, the way it held me in. I do a lot of hiking, backcountry hiking, hiking in the Grand Canyon. I almost could see myself using this boot on one of those hikes. It's got a real firm bottom, right, by design. It's got a great grip, the Vibram sole, uh, fantastic. We were in snow, we were in ice, uh, we were in a little bit of water, we were in uh, green grass. I was on a lot of slick rocks, dry slick rocks, fantastic grip. Uh, I don't know that I'd wanna have it in some real heavy wading situations. Comfort, boot is extremely comfortable. Easy to, to lace it up, it's got a longer um, strap up area, right? So it goes deeper into your toe box. So you can really get a nice firm fit all the way up and all the way up here. The other thing is a lot of times with my hiking boots, I'm out hiking all day, these boot, these shoelaces will come loose. These never came loose on me. Uh, complete comfort. They've got a dual, sense, uh, dual density sole. So they've got rigidity to, for the side to side but they've got a softness in the middle to keep you comfortable. Uh, again, I was in these boots for 12 hours on my feet the entire time. My feet feel fantastic. I was really surprised at how well they did. I wanna talk about the system that I wore inside of these boots. Now, they're designed really to be worn with the flyweight waders, which has a neoprene sock at the end of the wader. Uh, underneath the neoprene, I always like to wear Sims makes these, it's a, it's a real thin sock. I like to put that layer on first. It's what I did today. Also, I, again, I didn't have waders. I thought I might get in the water from time to time today. I wear the Sims wet wading sock. So this is a synthetic sock. It's designed to wick moisture away from you, okay? I've used these a lot. I like them in a wet wading situation, especially in Arizona. The water's not super cold. It's, it's warmer outside. So I like, I don't necessarily wear a neoprene uh, booty with these all the time. I did today, however. I did have the neoprene on. Really cold this morning in the 30s. Uh, the neoprene kept me warm. I did sweat a little bit. The wicking action of the wet wading sock kept the moisture away from my feet. So the whole system together, the real thin sock, or oh, it's about like a dress sock, really, the consistency of it. I've had these for years. They hold up really, really well. Anytime I'm waiting or going on a long hike, I like to put these on. And then maybe if I'm hiking, I put on a wool sock. If I'm uh, waiting, I'll put on a, a heavy wool sock, depending on how cold the water is. If I'm wet waiting, I'll wear the Sims wet wader sock, which is what I had on today, the neoprene. Your boots, uh, your foot slides right in, very comfortable. Lace it up. The ankle support, unbelievable. The lightness of this, I mean, it feels a lot like a regular hiking boot. So all in all, I'm extremely impressed with the boot. Real firm footing, never had a slip today. I was worried about my ankle. It's the first day I've been out hiking. 
The boot took care of me. I'm real excited about it. If you haven't had these on your feet, I highly recommend you give them a chance, put them on your feet, the most comfortable wading boot that I've ever worn. Folks, thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next video.